World Wildlife Fund is currently rallying support for the world's smallest dolphin and I'm hoping some of you will join me in getting involved with this. New Zealand has just two native marine mammals. It's got the Hector's dolphin and its close relative, the Maui dolphin. And the Maui dolphin is the smallest and rarest dolphin in the world. Both these dolphins are facing serious decline and the Maui dolphin in particular is critically endangered with only 55 individuals left. It's expected that without significant action soon, they will be extinct by 2030. Recently I spent some time with Hector's dolphins right down at the bottom of the South Island of New Zealand at a spot called Curio Bay. And the dolphins just come into the shore, they're so friendly and so curious. And it's just a real tragedy to imagine them going extinct. I think they are particularly gorgeous dolphins. They have these unique grey and black markings. They have rounded dorsal fins which make them look particularly cute. They're quite small, they're the smallest dolphins in the world, about a metre and a half long, they could fit in a bathtub. Unfortunately, the biggest factor causing the decline of these dolphins is fishing. And it's things like trawling and set nets around the coastlines of New Zealand that are catching these dolphins as bycatch and holding them under the water for 24 or 48 hours and causing them to suffocate to death. Fishing has progressively caused the decrease of Maui dolphins from around 1,800 individuals in the 1970s to where they're at today, about 55 Maui dolphins left. And experts have estimated that between four and five Maui dolphins are still killed every year due to gill nets and trawling, which is really disturbing when you realise that that's a 10% population decrease each year, and they've only got about a 2% population growth rate. One to two dolphins are born per year. So what that means is as their numbers fall, there'll be more inbreeding, there'll be less genetic variation, they'll be more susceptible to disease, and less likelihood of them coming back from their critically endangered status or avoiding extinction. Things like this can be particularly difficult conservation issues because it's a small number of powerless animals in the face of powerful commercial interests. And in our society, if something doesn't have a profit, it often gets decimated in the face of things that do. And that's not the sort of society that I want to stand for. I think that all animals have equal right to this earth, and I think that we can all coexist peacefully. Um, but it means that we need to change the way we think about how we interact with the world around us, and we need to be more considerate. And as individuals, the biggest thing that we can do for any conservation issue is be conscious consumers, because it's our actions that fuel all the systems and processes that impact this world around us. And if we boycott products that have the processes that are ruining our environment and impacting our wildlife, then those companies can no longer continue because they don't have the money that's fueling them. So when it comes to Maui dolphins, it's unsustainable fishing techniques that are causing their decline. And one of the best things that can be done is to become aware of which fish in particular are being caught through those techniques and no longer purchasing them. But if you do eat fish or you know people that eat fish, check out the link below that I put for sustainable and unsustainable fish and it's really great to be able to educate yourself on which fish in particular are causing bycatch of things like dolphins. And so hokey is a known fish that causes this typical fish and chip shop fish in New Zealand. And if overseas you're buying New Zealand hokey, for one example, uh, that is a fish that causes bycatch of dolphins. Um, but make sure you check out the link below. And hopefully as more people boycott the fish that are a product of these systems, the systems will begin to change. As experts say, it's only with the complete elimination of commercial gill net and trawling fishing in the areas that these dolphins exist that we will be able to stop them from going extinct. So another great thing that you can do, other than becoming a conscious consumer on this issue, is getting on board with the World Wildlife Fund 55 Challenge. And that's to help save the last 55 Maui dolphins. And basically it's a challenge 55, anything involving the number 55 that challenges you that can help raise awareness for this cause and help raise donations too. And I'm getting on board with this challenge which I'll share with you guys in a second. But basically it could be anything you want it to if you want to do the challenge as well. You could bake 55 vegan cakes and do a bake sale, you could run 55 kilometres, you could do 55 days of veganism, 55 days without seafood. The top challenge at the moment are a small family that are challenging themselves to removing 55 kgs of rubbish from their local shoreline, which is a really awesome challenge because it gets the whole community behind them and it just rallies support and awareness. But if you do want to get involved, you can make your own challenge page on the World Wildlife Fund site. I'll link that below and you can just send people there and they can make donations for your challenge. So the challenge that I'm doing is 55 days without waste basically 55 days without rubbish and that for me is actually going to be quite a difficult challenge because just looking at a casual grocery shop I buy a lot of things that are covered in plastics and packaging and things 
and it's just going to be interesting working around that. So I'll do a video in a month and share with you guys how it went and some insights that I gained from that. But I will link below my campaign page and if you guys have any spare money that you, that you could donate to that or if you can share it and help to raise awareness around it, that would be super awesome. I'm also going to, as a bit of a secondary challenge, make 55 dolphin bracelets which is going to be a bit of an undertaking but I thought it would be a great way to kind of share back with you guys so some of you who have donated I will contact and get your addresses so that I can send you out a bracelet and also some of you who do the challenge and share it on social media and do some hashtags which I'll list below that I can come find you on like hashtag Allegale and hashtag World Wildlife Fund Challenge 55 and I'll come find you and I'll private message you for your address so I can send you out a bracelet because I just think that that would be a really great way to just share back with you guys something to remind you of the challenge 55 bracelets kind of one for each dolphin and something I want to do as well so any way that you can get involved with this whether it's donating to my challenge or other people's challenges whether it's helping to share it helping to raise awareness making your own challenge any of those things would just be a wonderful show of support for this and collectively we can really make a difference thanks for watching guys